Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with the next segment on the class four tooth number nine. That's an upper central incisor, left central incisor. This is the corner we're going to restore. So I'm going to go ahead and again I'll just start up my my hand piece on four again and I'm just going to go ahead and prep what I feel is going to be the uh, is the prep itself. So it starts out as a class three and uh, we're going to just go ahead and prep that that box again and I refer to just the depth of the burr Let's see if I can come around this I have to be real careful with this one I would use the tooth clamp um, try not to hurt your finger on this one again safety goggles are important So here's our box preparation, and that's our design. Now that makes it a class, technically a class three, but we're going to just extend this all to include this whole corner. So I'm going to just keep my depth cuts going. You know, patients will chip their teeth. They'll, you know, they may have a an issue with their bite. Where they're wearing a corner down. In that case, you've got to adjust the bottom teeth a little bit sometimes. So, corners. And you've got to tell the patient, you know, how many surfaces are you, are you prepping. Um, so, it's... So, here's the prep. I'm going to include this incisal edge. So depth cutting that one down. I'm going to just roll the corner. It's pretty simple, but the idea that with today's bonded resins, you don't really have to put dovetails in as much anymore. But you should put some form of retention. That may come with a burr or a little dovetail. We'll do a dovetail. So there's your outline. It does include the corner of the tooth. Usually they'll walk in with a little chip like that. And then you'll you'll have to make a better preparation. So I'll put my dovetail in right about here. I'm going about half the distance of the burr. You stay conservative. You really don't want to lose, remove a lot of tooth structure if you don't have to. All this is teaching you dovetails, and and you know, and when you get into your practice, you do a lot less of them. They're not really necessary, but we're just showing you the disciplines of you know the way we were taught. You know, with amalgam or with the earlier composites that weren't bondable and so you're getting basically a design um, procedure all right and then what you would do is now you have to restore this whole area I mean you could even remove a little bit here and then maybe get a little bit more retention from that way but uh, the bottom line is uh, is to make this resistant to fracture again. Sometimes you've got to add a little more bulk. Um, a lot of times I'll feather all this away and just restore it with more surface contact of the tooth. Um, most dental schools will have their own, uh, I'm sure, their own techniques, their own philosophies on that uh, particular preparation. But it does include the corner of the tooth it's a little design to give you uh, a little more creativity. Whether you use these key locks or not, or these little dovetails, is uh, you know it's it's left up to the operator. But again, they we we're doing it just for a technical 
step-by-step -step, uh, procedure and to give you a little more manual dexterity and, and technique under your belt. So smooth your walls and uh, make sure all your depths are proportional and we'll move on to the next tooth. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo with tooth number nine. We're now finished with the lingual class one lingual pit, the class three um, mesial lingual, mesial lingual class three preparation design and the distal lingual incisal facial class four which includes the whole corner of the tooth. Keep practicing. I'm going to continue with this tooth and smooth it up a little bit. Any questions feel free to contact me. Take care.